Hello and welcome everybody to today's video about the Enable Endpoint Protection Security Control. My name is Tom and I'm a Senior Program Manager in the Azure Security Center Customer Experience Engineering Team with Microsoft. This video is part of our series about our security controls and about how to remediate their recommendations. Before we start and dig deep into Azure Security Center, I want to make sure that you understand how Secure Score is calculated and how our security recommendations will affect your Secure Score. So let's take a look at this table. As you can see, there are several security controls with a different maximum Secure Score, Enable MFA being the one with a maximum score of 10, whereas additional best practices will not affect your Secure Score. If you count these points together, you will see that you can reach a maximum secure score of 60 points. And if you have 60 points, then that means that you have a secure score of 100%. Now, if you take a deeper look at the different security controls and their maximum scores, you will see that by only remediating the top four security controls, you will already get a secure score of 50% because that is 10 plus eight plus six plus six, which equals to 30 points out of 60 points. Now it is important to understand that there are environments in which you cannot achieve 60 points because you do not have all the different types of resources deployed to your subscriptions. For example, if you do not have virtual machines or network related resources, you won't see the security control secure management ports. So there won't be the eight points that you can get to your environment, which means that you will have a maximum secure score of only 52 points. Now, to take a deeper look at the Enable Endpoint Protection Security Control and on how to remediate its recommendations, let's switch over to Azure Security Center. As you can see in my environment, I currently have a secure score of only 31% or about 17.58 points. If we look to the recommendations, you will see that I can only achieve a maximum secure score of 56 points instead of 60 points. This is because I do not have all the types of resources that are possible deployed to my environment. Now let's take a deeper look at the Enable Endpoint Protection Security Control. As you can see, there are several recommendations that come with that control, two of which are related to the Log Analytics Agent. Now, we are leveraging the Log Analytics Agent to look into the operating system so we can determine if there is a supported endpoint protection solution installed or not. And as you can see, there are five out of seven virtual machines for which we obviously have not installed an endpoint protection solution. So what we want to do now is we want to remediate some of those resources. So I click to the recommendation and you can see four out of my five unhealthy resources um, will give me the option to install an endpoint protection solution, whereas one of those already has a deployment state which is in progress. Now let's take only one of those machines and click the install on one VMs button. And then you will see that you can directly deploy the Microsoft anti-malware or the System Center Endpoint Protection anti-malware solution. We click on create and then you have the capability to enter some exclusions for files, locations and extensions and also for processes for being um, real-time protected. You can de decide if you want to have real-time protection or a scheduled scan. Also determine if the scan type is quick or full, the day and the time, and you click OK. Once you do so, you see that the endpoint protection installation is starting, and once this has completed, this resource will be flagged as healthy, and I will get more points to my secure score. Now, it is important to understand that with the Enable Endpoint Protection Security Control, we are not only tracking Microsoft services, but also third-party endpoint protection solutions. Needless to say that Azure Security Center cannot track all of the endpoint protection solutions that might be out there in the market.
but I want to give a huge shout out to my friend and teammate Safina, who has created an automation that helps you keep track on basically any kind of endpoint protection solution that your organization might have decided to install on your machines. Now, make sure to visit our GitHub repository and to click on the links that we are providing underneath this video to learn more about security controls and about how to remediate security recommendations in Azure Security Center. That's all for now for today. I'm looking forward to talking to you again soon. Now stay safe and make sure you improve your security posture. Bye.